we will start this video with a prediction. I can see the future. That's the power of mathematics. And my prediction is that in the future, I will mislabel the video. We'll see if that happens. I can see the future. Whoa. All right. And I won't do it on purpose. That's my promise. Otherwise, it's not really seeing the future. Let's do an application problem. And we're just going to do number 45 in the book. 45 in the book is right here. And it says to convert from X degrees Celsius to Y degrees Fahrenheit, we have this formula. You may have used this formula to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right. If someone says, oh, yeah, it was 30, 35 degrees today. It was pretty hot. They're probably talking Celsius. All right. So we're going to find the inverse function if it exists and explain its meaning. So if f of x equals 9 fifths x plus 32, to find the inverse, let's call this y, switch the x's and the y's. All right, this is our original function. So the inverse is going to be what happens when you switch the x's and the y's and solve for y. So if we solve for y, we're going to subtract 32 from both sides. That's going to give us x minus 32 equals 9 fifths y. y needs to be by itself. Let's multiply by the reciprocal, 9 fifths. Nope, 5 ninths. Nice try. And we're going to get that they cancel on this side, and we're going to get y equals 5 ninths. We usually use parentheses, but you don't have to x minus 30 fifths, x minus 32. So our inverse function, that is not pretty, our inverse function is 5 ninths times x minus 32. The whole idea about inverse functions is undoing, going from y to x instead of x to y. So if this original function takes degrees Celsius and brings it to degrees Fahrenheit, our inverse function does the opposite, takes degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. And you have probably seen this formula before as well. Um, and that's what's going on here. Let's answer that as well, right? Original F took degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, F inverse takes, does the opposite, degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. I think that's everything the question wanted us to answer. Find the inverse function, check. Explain its meaning, check. Kind of looks like I'm forming a gun, so check. I don't know what the third check's for, but something. And that's these applications, just kind of one of the ways that we see inverse functions. All right. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, have fun.